We all know that growth for the sake of growth is the etiology of the cancer cell. We all know that. And it serves as a pretty apt metaphor for humanity. So if we cannot figure out a way to gracefully make that transition, then nature will take care of it for us. And what we're trying to say in this book is that there have always been prophets, uh, prophets that would tell what's coming. And I think that there are a lot of prophets running around. I'm not one of them. I ran a nonprofit organization uh, <laughs> called the Land Institute. Uh, but there are people around that are beginning to imagine what will life with less look like. And one thing, learn how to grow a garden, get tools and learn how to use them, and go for small coherent communities. I would like to see uh, more of Kansas spread westward and not concentrated up around Kansas City. Learn how to grow a garden and learn how to be a part of a membership within a coherent community, something closer to the, the, the time of the Upper Paleolithic, you know. So what would a farm look like under those circumstances? Smaller and with greater diversity. Animals, animals, and a diversity of crops. Not just a monoculture, not just no. wheat, or not just corn, but, but a whole variety of Nature things. Nature did not produce many monocultures. You gotta have diversity. And I remember a kid growing up on the farm that while we had little patches here and there, we also had a fence row. And in that fence row, because we had animals, and sometimes we would be grazing animals out there, so we had the fence up. But in that fence row were weeds, and there were other creatures there that had to be a part of that whole system. Now, it isn't that we didn't try to get rid of weeds within the crops, but the diversity was essential for a certain stability. And so I think that if we can begin to get smaller, get more people on smaller acreages, then we can more gracefully engage in this down power. It's a, it's a soft landing that we're looking for. Here's what, we, here's what everybody can see. Things have only gotten worse. They've only gotten worse in terms of the, the ecological capital going down, soil erosion, chemical contamination of the land and the water, uh, all of that going down, and that we uh, now have the added problem of climate, uh, climate change, the global warming part. So, because we didn't take care of things down here that we should have been taken care of, uh, it's as though the heavens, so to speak, <laughs> is uh, telling us. Decided to get our attention for us. Yeah.